Good morning, y'all. Uh, highway sessions. Haven't talked to you guys in a while, but uh, just had my headphones in, listening to YouTube music. Uh, song came on about dad, and uh, you know, talking about how strong dad was, how great dad was. Uh, through the other stories I've shared and through my writings, uh, I didn't have terrific parents. I didn't have great parents. Um, for easy explanation, I had crappy parents. Um, and a lot of people that I meet in recovery and through recovery, I always tell them that the one thing that my parents taught me and my dad in general was uh, how not to raise my kids. And what I mean by that is on a Friday night, my dad would hand me $100 and tell me to get lost. And he didn't care or ask how it got spent. Um, I take a more hands-on approach with my kids. Uh, I show my kids things. I practice a lot of patience with my children and with other people's children that are around me. Uh, sometimes I'm kind of short and blunt and direct, but I make up for that with being really fun, I guess. Uh, but I see a lot of videos on TikTok and, you know, there's the hashtag dad talk and all of those things. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk to the dads out there um, because I see this a lot in my own circles. And the excuse that's always given is, well, that's how my dad did it. Did it work? That's, that's my question is, your dad did it, but did it work? Did it make you feel better? Did it make you feel good? Did it make you happy? Or did you carry resentment the rest of your life through the world? Um, you know, because my dad did things to me for discipline and for things like that that I would never do to my children. Um, and I could never justify it by saying that's what my dad did because I know that it's right and I know what's wrong. Uh, my kids, 11 and 7, physical discipline would not work. Um, at this point, I would only be whipping them or something like that to hurt them, and that's not the intention. We want to teach our children. We want to raise them up. Uh, I have to say that I think the world has a misconstrued view of this because at the end of the day, we're mammals, and our, our position in this world is to prepare our children so that they can enter it and be successful, so that they can exist, they can thrive, they can be... Um, safe, you know, when the, when the fox or the, I don't know, the dog, you know, they have a, a litter in the wild, they raise them until they're of age to go out into the world and then they cast them free. And for whatever reason, we as parents feel that we need to shelter our children from the evils of the world. And they find it through other people because it's still there. Just because you don't talk about it doesn't mean it's not there. It still happens. It still shows up in their lives. It just shows up through acquaintances, through relatives, uh, school members, things like that. They're going to find out. They're going to know. And if you're not the one that explains it to them and gives it to them in a controlled setting, it's just going to make them curious. Um, and that is across the board. It doesn't matter what subject we're going to touch on. Uh, we need to inform our kids. We need to be active in our kids' lives. And most of all, we need to stop doing what our dads did because it didn't work. You know, it's, it's a different world. It's a different time. And, you know, maybe our dads were wrong in some of the things that they did. You know, so this is the, the dad talk out there. Uh, for the dads out there on, on the, the dad talk hashtag, I guess. But, you know, think about it. Stop implementing tactics that didn't work for you. And stop using them with the justification that that's what my dad did. Um, it just, we got to do better. We got to be better. And we can be better just takes the, the work, you know, you got to put in the work, the discipline. Sometimes you got to put the phone down or, or put the, the work down or, or whatever it may be that's between you and your family or you and your kids and go play.
play catch. Go ride a bike. Go chase them around the yard because that's what they want. And if they don't get the attention from you, they're going to get it from somebody else. And that's where they get perverted. That's where they find out about the evils of the world that's not in a controlled setting. They're shown the evils of the world sometimes, like I was as a child, because my parents weren't there. It was a $100 bill on Friday night and get lost. And the types of trouble and the things that I got into were way beyond my years. I was 11 to 15 doing things that I shouldn't have been doing for another five plus years. Um, and it, it all started with there was no supervision, there was no hands-on learning, teaching, loving, um, there was no attention. Don't do what your dad did because your dad did it. That's a bad excuse. Um, I'm going to stop ranting and rambling now, but, uh, you know, listen to the video again. Consider what I said, please. Raise your children better. Be in their lives. Stop selling their time to an employer that doesn't care about you. Stop selling their employer for money that doesn't do any good. Uh, you know, it doesn't make more sense to work overtime so that you can pay the babysitter. That's that's bad. You're selling your kids time. That, that time belongs to your kids. It's, it's for you to give to them. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that follow button. Maybe I upset you this morning. I'm sorry if I did. That wasn't the intent. Uh, Y'all have a good day.